Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about my EDC 2022 bag that I carry. It's currently configured for the winter and it does change configurations based on the time of year, my needs for the particular day, and the environment that I am going to be estimated to be in. I use this bag for around town mostly. I have used it at work. I've used it on rescues and work and I've used it for lightweight hiking and patrols as well. We'll start with some of the items that I carry on my persons first. On the side here, we have a Noctagon KR4. This is an 18650 light with two channels of different types of LEDs inside, a thrower type of LED and a more close-up, higher CRI type of LED with a warmer color rendering, because I particularly like warmer colors. So it's a quad LED emitting the light. And I like carrying that on me. Moving along, we have a quad band Yesu VX7R radio. This is my primary communications tool. It has a dual band antenna on it, and I've been carrying this particular one for about five years now uh, as a daily EDC radio. As you can see, it's very well worn, finger pads and everything's worn out, but it does do a lot of work for me at work, around town, hiking and camping, and in emergencies. This is my Samsung Note 9. It's a basic smartphone with a added benefit of having a pen stylus inside of it that I can draw on my phone with because I like drawing. On the side here, on the Rebo Tactical Sling Bag, this is the main bag here in the front. I did a review on this bag a couple years ago and I've been using it for the past few years and lately I've been modding it out for my various needs. I'm going to go over the side pouch here. I have another one that's similar to the one on here that I can talk about. So I'm going to move this off the table. and talk about the side module, which can be removed from the bag. This is a VanQuest FTIM 6x9 Generation 2 EDC pouch. And on the outside, I usually keep some sort of light. In this particular one, I have a light pen combo. This is a Clever's TI TP20 pen. And on the other side, I usually keep a full tang knife. In this case, usually a K-Bar Dozer full tang knife. In the front zip pouch, we have hand sanitizer, an ouchy boo boo medical kit and usually some toilet paper as well and let's open this up now each bag is going to be slightly different but i have four types of these bags like i said the one on my rebo tactical sling one is very similar to this and that i have a leatherman rev on it i have pharaoh's whistle combo uh, tools on it i have a headlamp i have some food lip balm uh, another secondary flashlight Lots of pins and paper clips, charging cables, cordage, lighter, sewing kit, water filtration. And in this particular bag, which I upgraded my all my kits with recently, is I have added a smaller EMP resistant pouch, which houses a VX1R, which is this kind of radio here. And it also houses a small solar charger, a AA solar charger, which can charge the radio. And I have a small little pill light using I-1 or 2 EOS from Olight inside the pouch here. And that's generally what I carry in there. I'm not going to go through the entire content list of the bag, but that module can be taken off the main pack, which I carry with me. So we'll go back to the pouch here. And again, that's what I carry on the side here. So this can be detached and uh, very convenient to swing this side swing pouch to my front, access what I want from the outside and put it back carrying in a uh, fast motion. I'm gonna look at the back of the pack first before we get into the pouches. On the back here, we simply have just the strap, which is really convenient. It has a buckle here. It has a secondary buckle for a containment strap which is housed on this side here basically I've had this stowed away but it would come out buckle into here and would create a a semi lock on your body so this ba this bag does not swing uncontrollably so it's incredibly useful for when I'm up on the trail and I have to uh, rock scramble so the bag's not kind of getting in my way and swinging around it kind of stabilizes the bag which is really important on the back here we can see a small slip pouch here uh, it's being held in by this button here. You can stow the strap in the back if you want or put a CCW inside of there. Either way, I don't do that with this pouch. It's not configured that way. And finally on the side here we have some more poly pals webbing. 
going back to the front we have a couple pouches in the front first this first one we keep a basic emergency rain poncho something to keep me out of the elements in case i need it or if my partner needs it when i'm at work and in this pouch here just keep a battery charger bank small one a pen some extra charging cables and o-rings for my flashlight in the top pocket here we keep a mask which i don't use very often and it's there as a preventive measure in case somebody wants to pickpocket this particular pocket they'll run into this thing here and be pretty grossed out hopefully some extra charging cables i have a clipper lighter with some beeswax hemp wick on it and in the bottom here i keep my favorite writing pen this is the open 2 in copper and it's a USB-C rechargeable pen and it features several different lighting modes on it and it has a refill ink cartridge which is activated by this L-bolt style actuator and you can lock out the light here so it doesn't turn on accidentally so I keep that in there for easy reach if in case I have to sign a document fill out some paperwork and that's it for the front pouch here now on the top we can see this grab handle which is really nice and convenient to have but before we get into that part I do carry some external hand sanitizer as well as a S-binder clip to clip on some other random items on the outside if I need to I keep the zipper portion of the pocket on the on this side so that it's harder for somebody to pickpocket it and they have to go through all this mess over there so this opens up almost in a half clam clamshell formation inside i have my old beanie hat this is an old umbro beanie hat which i've had for about 20 years and then we have a combo mitt fingerless gloves which i've gotten from ems when i used to work there selling and equipping people for camping and hiking this is a bandana which I got for working for the parks. And then I have a Nomex mixture of a balaclava. as a, I think, 15% Nomex inside of it. I can't remember the exact composition, but it comes in handy in the winter for protecting my face and my neck. And further down, I do a pair of light-duty work gloves. And... We'll go to the zipper pouch first before we go down to it more. On the zipper pouch here, I house my keys, which have a variety of tools on it. And then I have my wallet here. And then I also have a cache of candy bars for emergency food slash sugar. And that's it for this pouch here. Moving down, right, right below this, I do have another sl slip pouch in here, which houses my water container. This is a stainless steel flask. It's about 266 milliliters. It has a removable cap, which is important because if I want to boil water in this particular container, I can without damaging the cap and the insulating materials to prevent the water from leaving. So I typically carry a container that I can boil water in with me usually around town and then back to the main pouch we do have a Faraday bag this is a 500 megahertz to I think about 2.4 gigahertz EMP resistant bag and houses one item inside that I use for listening it's my Kenwood THF6A this is a tri-band ham radio but it's the only ham radio in this size and format that can do lower sideband and upper sideband monitoring and CW monitoring as well as HF monitoring from 0 0.1 megahertz to 1.3 gigahertz moving to the last pouch here on the inside it comes apart with this velcro tab and it's in the back portion here it's a sleeve really and in it I house my rain jacket wind jacket this is an umbro wind jacket and it has a hidden hood in the collar here and then further down I don't have anything else other than an extra mask and that's it so that is my EDC bag for 2022 again I use this for around town mainly and sometimes at work I'll take it on patrols during the fall and late summer and early spring and I have used it on rescues before it's actually quite a convenient bag compared to my other bag in some cases
and currently it's set up for a winter uh, setup right now. So again, I change it based on the season and other parameters. I thought you guys might find that kind of interesting when I carry my EDC bag. Thank you for watching and take care.